What's up everyone, Name Code Dustin here, Fancy Smack Talk. That's right, Sleep Print. As you know, we pay extra for that. And before we get yeah. into it, of course, we're gonna start off with a quick tip. Playoffs, you gotta start thinking about them. And Dustin? The tip for the week is if you're up towards the top, you know, a lot of times we have tips for what to do if you're down at the bottom, but if you're up towards the top, now's the time to really take a good look at your team, look at your best starting lineup, and then look at what's left over on the bench. If you have wasted talent on your bench, now's the time to consolidate, try to do some two for ones or anything that you can do to try to get better players in your starting lineup with the key factor of making sure you're getting good playoff matchups. That's the best thing to do right now. You know, if you have Larry Fitz and you're, you know, got good wide receiver depth, look at his playoff matchup, try to trade him. It's gross. But like those type of players, try to get as much talent on your can as you can for your starting lineup and forget your bench. And if you're doing a two for one and you have an open roster spot, you might want to handcuff some of your studs as well, just so you don't have to worry about that. So it's a win-win kind of situation. Depending on the league and the depth, yes, like all that stuff. Use your bench as safety nets. Get as Best your starting start lineup, lineup amazing. All right, amazing. Dustin, let's do some forum questions. First one comes from The Sid. He's got a running back question. Once to know, tough one. Gore versus the Rams or CJ2K at Miami. The community saying it isn't tough, and they're going 86% Frank Gore. I mean, I do think Gore is the safer of the two, but you got to love the upside of Chris Johnson. I mean, he had a good week last week, even no, he didn't. though... <laughs> Even though uh, he had a good fantasy week on Maybe. paper, he had a good week. We had a bet, so Brent's a little uh, a, a little, little, little sore salty, about little it. Salt. But uh, I, here's how I'm gonna say with this one: If you feel that you are the front runner in your matchup, go with Gore. He's the safer guy. But if you think you're playing from behind, go with the potential home run in Chris Johnson. You know, St. Louis is a slightly worse run D, but it's not night and day. Miami's really good, but St. Louis isn't terrible, so. If you're behind, go with Chris Johnson in this one. I say go either way. All right, next one comes from KDB, wide receiver question. Emmanuel Sanders versus KC or Hartline versus Tennessee. It's 50-50 split right now. And I put this one on here because I think a lot of people are going to look at Sanders as a potential start this week with Brown out. Yeah, and I think he's not a bad potential start at all. But they also have Kotri there. And out of these two, you got to love Hartline's matchup. I mean, playing against Tennessee, everyone puts up a million points on him. Hartline had over 100 yards again last week. Him and Tannehill, they really are on the same page. He's not a stud number one fantasy receiver, but he is the number one on the fins. I would actually go with him. He should be targeted more than Sanders this week. All right, Dustin from PSC underscore 02. He's got a flex question. He wants to know the shore at Minnesota. Spiller at New England or Stevie Johnson at New England. The community is saying you got to go with the guy that had three touchdowns last week, and that's LaShore. This one's not easy either. You know, LaShore did have three touchdowns, but he is in a super heavy timeshare right now. With Bell, it's just a little scary. I don't mind the matchup against Minnesota. They're not nearly as scary as they were at the beginning of the year. I'm actually curveball going Stevie Johnson here. Buffalo's wow. going to get down early. Buffalo, New England games sometimes turn out yeah. to be somewhat of shootouts. They're going to be throwing a lot. I like Stevie Johnson. You know, New England, you can move the ball on them normally because they're up by 20 points and they're just trying <laughs> to prevent the big play. But look for Stevie Johnson. to get a lot of targets. I actually like him as a sneaky play this Nine week. 9% of the community in Dustin says Stevie Johnson. Oh, that's scary. Or Steve Johnson. My apologies. He goes by Steve, Steve now. It's Stevie. He lost to Stevie. Bet of the week, best first bow, best first bow. Bet of the week, best first bow! Wow. Is the bet of the week. I got bow, he's got best. Here's my reason I my reasons behind bow. Sure, Kansas City hasn't been great as of late, but he gets targeted all the time. You know I love those targets. Castle only looks to him. If he doesn't get it to him, he's pretty much gets sacked. So I just think he's gonna get a lot more opportunities, plus the garbage time playing the Steelers Monday night. I think there's gonna be a lot of garbage time. They'll go back in their prevent defense, and at that time, Bo's gonna be racking up those catches to help me win this bet, even though Best does have a kind of a nice matchup. Kansas City is awful at football. They are so bad. My strategy for my defense from here on out is to pick up whatever team plays Kansas City. I got the Pittsburgh this I got Pittsburgh this week. I've already picked up the Bengals for next week. They're awful. I don't even think they'll... They might even get skunked this week against Pittsburgh, even though Pittsburgh's D isn't nearly as good as they used to be. Even if he gets garbage time, no touchdown for Bo this week. Best, Eli Manning. Best <laughs> is going to get a 
ton of looks, a ton of catches. I like him this week. A lock for 10 plus points in any type of PPR. Sleepers and busts, my sleeper, Devon Best. There you go. Going up against Tennessee, they are just as bad at defense as Kansas City is at <laughs> offense. <laughs> Look it. for Miami to easily move the ball. Look for Best to be a big part of it. I like Tan I like Hartline. I like Reggie Bush this week. I like all those guys. Even Tannen Hill if you're in, in a bind. My bust is Taiwan Jones. Baltimore's D, not that scary anymore, but I want to see at least one game out of him and see how many touches he's going to get, see what Oakland's going to do with this mess of running back situation with both their top guys out. I'm benching him unless you are in a crazy bind. All right, my sleeper is going to be a Thursday night special, and that's Vic Ballard. He's playing against the Jags that are ranked 27th first to run. I know Donald Brown's a little bit scary, but he was supposed to be somewhat of a factor last week. He didn't even really touch the ball. Ballard had that crazy touchdown. Living large right now, I like Vic Ballard to have a pretty good game this week. Maybe find the end zone. My bust is going to be Sean Green. I know he's been getting a decent amount of run, but he's playing at Seattle. Seattle's defense is 11th versus the run, but at home they play even better. It's, just, it's a tough, tough place to play. I don't see the Jets doing anything this week. Seattle's actually ranked as my number two defense. Might even be my number one defense. Whenever you check my rankings. There you go. Let's move into Mike's picks. His sleeper is Marcel Reese going up against Baltimore. Out of the two running backs out there for Oakland, you know, it does look like Reese has more probably guaranteed touches, and he likes him in any type of PPR leagues. Look for Reese to rack up some catches. And his bust is Sidney Rice. You know, he's had a couple of good games in a row. He's going up against the Jets this week. He's not really liking that matchup. The Jets have only allowed three touchdown catches. Just fewest in the fantasy land, so he's not liking rights to find the, <laughs> the end fantasy zone. Land. And the real land, apparently. Yeah, in the fantasy <laughs> land. So he's not liking rights to find the end zone. Sydney Rice, no go for Mike this week. So that's our weekly show. I'm Dustin. Brent drew a picture of Look, I got a goatee, Kilberg. Mine's way better. Kilberg, goatee. It's not going anywhere. Maybe one day we do a bet for me to shave my goatee. Oh, love it! Let's do that!